Hey what's up guys, Tech Notice here and in this video we have iPhone 4s to the left and to the right of the screen. This one is running iOS 6 and this one iOS 9. Now we're going to see in terms of practicality and usability, is it worth it to upgrade to iOS 9 which is the latest firmware and final firmware or iOS 6. Now we're just going to launch them up. So they get to the home screen about at the exact same time. Now I'm going to bring up the iOS 6 here and show you guys what it used to look like. So the design came from Steve Jobs and I gotta say it's very refined. I love how it looks. You can see each little detail right there. And now with Johnny Ives we have this, a more flat design, which some prefer this. I honestly prefer this. It just looks so professional. And with an iPhone, the brand name, you gotta stick with professionalism. But anyways, that's just my opinion. We're gonna check out some app load times. So the most importantly, we are gonna clear out the app switcher to make sure it's all fair. And launch. You get a, about a second um, quicker on iOS 6. iOS 9 took that one. iOS 9. iOS 9. So note that although this one is running iOS 9 right now, I do have it jailbroken and I changed a little bit of skins here and there. As you can see the music icon is the one of iOS 8 which I prefer much more than the Apple Music icon. Um, other than that there's no other apps that are preloaded that could bog down the phone itself. Um, now in terms of usability, why you should upgrade to iOS 9? Well, take a look at this. You got Control Center which gives you all the toggle settings. Wi-Fi, flashlight, and whatnot. And you got Notification Center. You got a Today's tab and you got Notifications. Whereas this one right here has nothing. Oh well, you do have Notification Center. But there's no toggling whatsoever. So you, you gotta head inside settings and move the brightness, um, turn on this Bluetooth, turn on that. Um, let's see what else. So let's say you wanted to use Safari, see how quick that goes. So they loaded up about the same time. Uh, let's go for web browsing. This is gonna be google.com. So definitely the iOS 9 device is much quicker. Let's try another one. Let's go for... Apple's own website. So I kind of messed up in that one. Um, I gave this one a little head start right there, but anyways, iOS 9 did load it up quicker, so you can see how much quicker iOS 9 is. Awesome. Oh, and if you guys saw that, clicking the home button. Oh, they look they closed about the same time, so that's pretty good. Um, what else do you guys want to see? Let's. I don't know. Uh, let's go for. Compass. So these were uh, all like the highlighted features. This came with iOS or the iPhone 3GS, I believe, which was a pretty cool app until what, like 2014, and nobody started using it anymore. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much it. I I honestly would say upgrade to iOS 9. There's not too much uh, bog down. Everything still loads pretty well at this point for the iPhone 4S. If you want to stick around with the iPhone or iOS 6, um, your phone is going to be uh, going in value or growing in value actually, just because of how rare it is to get this phone at this firmware. Um, and 
pretty much uh, that's it. If you guys want practicality, usability, I say go for iOS 9. If you want to keep how rare your phone is, stick around with iOS 6. You do get a little bit of a, a speed bump on iOS 6 over iOS 9. Uh, yeah, if you guys like the video, remember to hit subscribe and like. If you guys want any other videos comparing older devices, let me know. Alright, peace out guys.